attention to detail. It's a basic rule that every sapeur lives by. And self-proclaimed sapologist Kwame Le Bon clearly has it down to a fine art. He's stepping out today with his comrades and they're looking for recruits. For the sappers of Goma, sapology is about more than merely making a fashion statement. It's a serious business, one that requires a lot of dedication. Sapology is like religion. A Christian must believe in God. A sapper must believe in the importance of appearance. If I don't dress well, I may as well be sick. I don't feel good. I'm a soldier of sapology. I fight so people who are dirty can be clean and dress like me. The boys and girls of Goma should be well put together like me. It's a matter of pride. The group in Goma may be a small one, but they get plenty of attention when they're out and about. A sapper always wants to dress well and follow the latest fashion. Whether it's a good thing depends on if you have the means to do it. If you don't have the money, then there's no point trying to being a sapper. I think the sappers are a good thing for the city. They bring color and creativity, which shows that in Goma, we have other things besides conflict and war. Didier, why do you like being a sapper? Because sapology is our identity, our generation. Our ancestors, fathers and grandfathers liked sap. So as their grandsons, we should encourage others who might not be dressed well to clean up. And this has a knock-on effect. And it appears to be working. They found a potential new member. The only stumbling block, money. You cannot be a sapper without money. We are a group, and so there's always a way to find some money to start dressing well, to create a style and be visible in the streets. While some may consider the sappers eccentric dandies, for others their belief in pride, style and individuality resonates in a city so often associated with conflict. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Goma, DRC.